There's a particular kind of throwing axe, or at least axe that it is thought was a throwing axe, called a Francisca. Uh, now the Franks had this as their tribal weapon, uh, it's named after them, and uh, it's got quite a distinctive, unusual shape. It's got this sort of um, swirly S-bend shape that comes up to a point, and then a lot of people looked at that and thought, hmm, I think it was probably a throwing axe. And while I used to think, yeah, you could throw it, I could see how from the shape you might think that's for the, the point to end up going into the target, I really wasn't convinced. Um, my principal argument against this being uh, principally a throwing axe is that um, javelins just seem so much better. I mean, you can carry a great bundle of javelins, whereas carrying a great bundling of, of axes to throw would be very, very awkward and heavy. Uh, you can throw javelins further, probably, um, and uh, more accurately and faster, and they always land point first, and, you know, I don't think you need any more reasons. There you go. For those sort of reasons, I thought that, yes, whereas, you know, you, you might perhaps throw a Francisca after using it in melee, or if you had some other thing to fight with, but, you know, more of a last resort, you know, a secondary use for it, perhaps. But that was, that was before... Um, my reenactment society made some Franciscas and then I started throwing them about. Uh, we made three. Uh, I distinctly remember we made three because I juggled with them. And um, you can throw them you know, a fair distance, you know, a, a worthwhile distance, but not really very far. You can definitely throw a javelin significantly further and faster. Um, so if someone threw a Francisca at you and you were watching them, you, you'd see it coming and you'd have you know, plenty of time to dodge. But if, if you threw a javelin at me, Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm ready for you, I'm watching you, and there comes the javelin. Whoop, I dodge it, and I can, be, I can forget about it. It's past me, it's gone. It's no longer a threat. You might be well advised not to forget entirely about a Francisca, because of the, the one major characteristic that I discovered about them when we made some full-size, full-weight, based on archaeological finds, and chucked them, they bounce. And not just a little bit, they bounce a lot, all over the place, and like like rugby balls. Um, they, uh, I, I've seen on many occasions one hit the ground and bounce considerably higher than a man, uh, and in a completely unpredictable direction. So, if someone's thrown a uh, Francisca at you and you just let it go past, you may find oh, you get hit from behind with it. Probably not point first. Probably not actually going to kill you or even wound you significantly, but uh, be very off-putting. Now. Uh, I doubt they were used much in dueling, but think of it in a battle. Think of a battle weapon. Think of many hundreds or thousands of francs charging at you, and then from, I don't know, 30 yards or so, they all chuck Franciscas into your formation. Well, there could be havoc. You know, um, if one hits your shield, it's likely to then bounce off the shield and go anywhere. If one lands on the on the ground, it's going to be bouncing, hitting you in the legs, hitting the guy behind you, ricocheting off him, hitting you in the back of the head. Um, the haft. Now, I went on the, the, the internet to uh, find some pictures of Francisca, because I'm afraid I don't have one to show you. I don't own the Francisca. Um, I didn't actually make the Franciscas that we were using in the society. Um, and they all had straight hafts, uh, whereas all our reconstructed ones had more sort of S-shaped ones. Um, and when you hold an S-shaped haft on an axe, it, it feels right. And I suspect that this S-shape as well would probably increase the springy bounciness of the Francisca. So if they had... Um, would, well, they would have had wooden hafts. I'm, I'm reasonably convinced they would have been S-shaped. Uh, well, you know, just a gentle S-shape. On a modern felling axe, you'll see that there, there is a slight S-shape to the, uh, the haft, so just exaggerate that. Anyway, so these things bounce all over the place, um, and perhaps that's what gave them their power. Perhaps that's why the Franks actually you know, kept using them, because otherwise, if you've got a rubbish tribal weapon, you can't, you know, just you try to persuade the enemy to, you know, to be really terrified of them because, you know, all this, yeah, I've got to use it as my tribal weapon, I'm a Frank. No, you, you, you're going to have a tribal weapon that has, has, some, um, has some punch, has some purpose to it. And I think that en masse, Franciscas could probably do quite a lot of disruptive damage to a formation just by this randomness. A um, bit, bit like a pilum is thrown at uh, close range and that's largely to deprive the enemy of the full use of his shield. Uh, similarly, I think the Francisca might be thrown at close range to deprive the enemy of the full use of his formation.